guys, it's Laura back with you with another video from Tuxedo Planners. Um, I wanted to give you guys share something with you today, and it is my addiction for all things Erin Condren Petite Planner related. And as you can see by my huge stack, I have a little bit of an addiction. I can't help it. I probably need need an intervention or whatever. But I'm like the Little Mermaid. I have thingamabobs 20, but I want more. What can I say? All right, so I thought I would flip through these for you, show you how I'm using my petite planners. Um, and then at, at a later video, I'm going to do a plan with me in my petite planner. Because I have to tell you, I absolutely love this planner. I love using it. I love everything about it. And it probably stems from my love of all things traveler notebooks. So I love TNs. I carry a TN as my wallet. Um, I was carrying TNs before I got into Erin Condren. And I love traveler's notebooks. So when she came out with a traveler's notebook system, I had to go on and get it. And it just fed my addiction. And I had to have all things petite planner, traveler's notebook related. So... I'm going to set this bad boy aside, and we'll get into that one later. But I wanted to go through some of the journals that I have and that I use. Um, the first one is my wellness journal. Now, I was using this at a pretty much a regular clip through when I first started. And let me see when I first started it. I started it back in February, so I was using it pretty regularly. As you all know, and I've had full disclosure on on my channel about this, that I have had uh, a RNY or a gastric bypass surgery back last year in July. With my surgery, there are certain requirements that I have to live by for the rest of my life, and that is my water intake, my food intake, and how I'm feeling, you know, everything about it, because I don't really, if you know anything about gastric bypass, I don't really have a traditional stomach anymore. Um, so I know TMI, but I just wanted to explain a little bit about how my wellness petite journal came about that I was going to use it. So I'm going to jump right into it. I did cover up some of my, uh, some of my weight numbers. Um, because I don't really feel comfortable sharing that, and I think that's leftover mentality from being so overweight that you kind of are a little bit ashamed almost. Well, not really ashamed because I have a pretty good self-esteem, but you don't want to put your numbers out there, you know, when you're when you're overweight. And um, so I did cover some of those numbers up because that is personal to me, but I didn't cover anything else up. So. <laughs> You'll see all the rest of my ragged, wretched life here in this little book. But let, but let me show you a little bit about it. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with these. And you've probably seen a hundred uh, videos of how people use these. But we're going to just show you one more, okay? So with each month, you get the starting point for the month. And you get your wellness goals for the month. I don't really use this um, in... In my petite planner, I don't, I just don't feel the need because, um, like your chest measurements, bicep thighs, and all that. I have not started working out because I really don't eat enough to work out right now. And my nutritionist said that you, to to lose weight, you actually have to eat. <laughs> and apparently, I fall down on that. So let me see where I started with these. Okay, so this was my first spread here. This was um, the March twenty. 25th spread and these are the things that I wrote down as you can see and it's an activity level and over here it says water intake and steps and our slept I don't really do um, I keep such a close track of my water intake that it's pre-measured in a um, jug that I measure out every day so I keep that in in the refrigerator because I like my water ice cold so I really don't track the water and the activity levels. I really, I, I don't track other than, I don't even think I track my walking, but I do walk. But the activities I do track, I do track my showers, my medication, my vitamins, uh, my washing my hair, things like that. And I track my hours slept 
over here and I track some of my food. Um, as you can see, I don't really eat a lot. This was, <laughs> this was a whole day. For lunch, I had guac and a few chips and some a little bit of guacamole and chicken. This is why the nutritionist won't allow me to work out. Uh, some I had a little bit of baked spaghetti, didn't sit well. Broccoli and cheese soup. You know, this is kind of what I did with my snacks and what I had to eat. Um, let's see more. And I think that's, there's some stickers in the back. I haven't even touched them. I don't even use them. But if you're looking for a little wellness journal, this is really, this is a blank spread. This is really a great option for you. If you don't want to keep something large, you can just get one of these. Okay, so that's the wellness journal. The, one of my favorite all-time petite planners is my food tracker. Um, this guy I use pretty much on a regular basis. I started out, I don't even think I... I just, I write my grocery list down and I write, if I have a menu, I try and do menu planning every week. The only thing I don't like about this petite planner, and I'm not sure if you guys I see this, it starts on a Sunday and that throws me off. I don't know why they don't have like a Monday start because when you look at the wellness planner, it's a Monday start. But the food planner is a Sunday start. What the hell, Aaron Condor? What the hell? So it throws my it throws me off all the time. But this is kind of how I use that. I don't I don't do breakfast, obviously, as you saw with my wellness planner. I'm not a breakfast person. I don't really cook a lot of lunches. Uh, dinners is is because everybody's out working and it's generally just myself and my daughter at home and I don't feel the need to cook. Uh, dinners are here that I just kind of write down, jot down. Sometimes we follow it, sometimes we don't. Um, I do have my menu, my things over here, like this week I planned. This week I did a little better. I made chilaquillas, which I love. Couldn't eat very many of them, could only have a couple bites, but I ate them. Went to Burger King, got a croissant sandwich, which ended up with the baby because he ate it. And just some meal planning over here. So I absolutely adore this. As you can see, it's kind of spotty with how I use it. Um, sometimes it's really spotty and I hardly use it at all. Can you guys? Yeah, I'm trying to darken you up so you can see better. Um, but excellent. So where am I at? So I think this is my current one here. And it was back in May. So I'm kind of loose about how I, um, when I use these, but and I don't really cook on a schedule. I just write down stuff that I think I want, and when I fix it, I just scratch it off. So I made tuna casserole last night, so I, squash, I scratched that off. And I made the hamburger steak with onion gravy and did a squash casserole with that, so I scratched that off. But I always use the shopping list. And this goes with me to the grocery store. And once more, it comes with stickers. Haven't touched them. I don't know why. I just don't decorate these things. And then in... Like in the back, you got dinner party meal plans. Like I would ever throw a dinner party, but whatever. Recipe logs. This is what Pinterest is for. I just write everything. To, I get everything off of Pinterest if I want something. Price tracker. I don't really use. I only go to certain grocery stores, so I kind of am familiar with prices. But that's how I use that. The next one I have is the budget book. I don't use this at all. Um, I'm thank God it's not dated. But I really don't use this. I think my, um, and I have some stickers in the back with that. I haven't even touched them. In fact, I haven't even seen them. Oh, that's kind of nice. Huh. Anyway, so I'm sure at one point I will, this is a prime, a, prime, a prime example of me having a petite planner addiction. Because I bought it and I knew that I plan in my Erin Condor Deluxe Monthly. I don't really plan anywhere else. But maybe in the future I will. But that's the... Uh, budget journal. I do like it though. I think it's nice. I like the spending summary that they have because that's one of the main things I use with my budgeting. So I do like it. I do like that they have some of the categories marked down for you and what you save and what you spend on and all that for the month. This is not quite enough for me. Um, like I said, I could see throwing it in my, in my petite folio with the spending summary on the go. I could see using it for that. So that's that one. The other thing I got was I decided, you know what, I'm going to do a gratitude journal, right? 
Do you see that it was used? Mm, no, not yet. But, you know, feeds, it feeds the addiction monster. So this is Gratitude Journal, I guess, edition one, because it's not editioned. And this is edition two, because if I got one, might as well get them all, right? Because I'm an all or nothing kind of girl, much to my husband's dismay. But I really haven't sat down and did this. Thank, thank God, once more, it is not um, dated. So I do have the, um, I do want to start using this. I do have an, a, a want to do it because I think it helps to improve your, your, your mood, your disposition, your outlook on life, things like that. Uh, even though since I retired out of the place of hell that I was working, I really have a pretty good outlook on life now. But um, I like this one because it was purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. So these are the petite daily uh, gratitude journal books that are unlisted. So that's it. All right. So then Erin Condren comes out with a bullet journal pack. And of course, I have to have it. So this is the bullet journal. Uh, it's a dot grid. Uh, the pages are numbered, of course, and you have your subject and your pages. So this is your index. You have three pages of index, and then you jump right into it. I did, I did get the, the package deal, so I got the stickers that go with this and some date, date covers, I think, or, uh, as well, but I'm not sure where those are at the time. But as you can see, have I started it? Nah, no, I haven't. But feed the addiction monster. There's my bullet journal. Then I have a little uh, petite journal here. And I have started using this, sort of. This is my wish list. These are things that I want. So if anybody wants to buy me a Mac computer and a $600 camera, feel free to pony up to the, to the bar there. But anyway, this is my wish list. This is mainly for my business uh, things that I want. Um, so I'm kind of writing that down there. Uh, have I used it for anything else? No. Now these don't have a pocket in them and I don't think uh, the, the, dot, the grid journal doesn't have a pocket either. So this is just a journal that I can pop into my uh, thing when I want to, but that's my wish list that I write off when I want the big ticket items. Now we're gonna jump into my baby here. Now, um, like I said, I do love this because I'm a traveler notebook girl. So on the front, I've got my little um, Erin Condren charm with my initial on it, which is L for Lara, of course. Then I've got my other charm here, which is an EC Insider charm, which is love to plan because I ordered, I can't remember, I think the new planners and this came with it. And then I got uh, a little bobble here that I got from the D-stash table at Smoky Mountain Planner Land. I thought this was really nice. Somebody just put this together, and I thought, you know what? That's pretty. I'll use it for my planner. So I just got that. But uh, let me show you what I've got in here. So when you open her up, uh, I do have, I did put on some of these large sticky pockets. Let me move you guys up some here. So I have these sticky pockets, and I just keep a couple of things in here. I keep a little emoji from, I think this is Coffee Monster Co. And some Simply Gilded. I love this U Jelly thing. I think this is pretty with the silver foil. And I keep some Simply Gilded stickers and a sticker, a couple of sticker sheets from the new book. And I also have one in the back, back here with some stickers and things in it as well. And I'll get to that in a minute. All right, so the first thing that you come to, and I do have four books in here. Some, well, some are attached, some are not is the um see that okay is the monthly so um i don't really use the monthly a lot what i use the monthly for as you can see i've got two august as i was designing the august petite monthly kit for for the erin condren um petites as you see i've got april in here i don't have anything for may and i've got my june kit in here so this is really used for my Etsy thing because I do design uh, kits and stickers for 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 these little petite planners because I didn't really see uh, anything on Etsy that I liked or or a lot of them so I decided to just make my own but this is my newest kit and I'll just show you that real quick since I'm on this page that I did um, this is the August I went with some lemon 
um, washi, some, some washi there, date headers and strips and some deco boxes and paydays, bill due, day out and sick day there. So, and a note thing for your plans. So I just put that in there, even though obviously it's not, I think this is the, I did start out with the strip, but I don't really use this and I don't know why, but it does have a lot of pages at the back and I just keep the stickers in the back. I haven't even touched them, I don't think. All right, the thing I do use is my daily planners, and I'm in my April to June, and what I did was I took some Coco Daisy tabs that I had, and as you can see, I keep all my books in here because I future plan, and I have tabbed all of my books with the Coco Daisy ones. And I also keep a paper clip, and I paper clip them here. So, um, I don't really have a lot of stickers in here. Let me see if I did have some stickers. I think I did have some stickers, and I'm going to do a plan with me in this book with some stickers. Yeah, I did I did do some stickers in here. Uh, here's my, my Easter spread that I did in here. And my bad day sticker must have been a bad. And here is my May spread for my May kit that I did with some Coco Daisy stuff. Uh, I'm, I had these in my shop as well. And so I do, I did do some stickers in here, as you can tell, like this one, I did a lot. Um, this is a lot of that wrong, wrong, happy, ha happy planner stickers and my spring headers that I made for here. And I did some plaid. So just, I just keep everything. I do use the morning, afternoon, and evening format and the to-do format for that. And here we are into June with my tab. I don't really use the month at a glance. And I, I haven't used anything that is um, uh, uh, sticker related yet. Now, I did, I, I am ha having some stickers. I worked on these yesterday. These are glitter headers for, well, for the planner, which I'm going to be showing. Uh, these are posted in my Etsy shop, or they will be posted in my Etsy shop. We'll buy this afternoon, and today I'm filming this on a Thursday, so be on the lookout for these if you're interested in the glitter headers. I put some in every color. There should be, this should be a week of headers on this. Uh, page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's a week here of these, and then I just did, duplicated them there. So th these, so these I'll show you are in my shop. So this is today, and my daughter has an appointment this afternoon. Of course, I tracked my husband's schedules there, and then I tabbed for July through September. I've got my July tabs ready to go. I've already done my July monthly. This is my. Let's see if I can get. Oh. Let me see. There you go. This is my July kit that I I did. I went with the blueberry theme for July. I thought this turned out really cute for my kit, so I did that. And um, I have not started to future plan in this one yet. And then stickers at the back. The other one I have, of course, I have this one as well. This is the last of the year. This is October through December. So as soon as uh, June comes to an end, I'm going to pop this bad boy out and I'll put this one in, 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 in the binder. But I've got my tabs all ready to go with that. As you, I don't know if you can see, let me see. There, there you go. Got my tabs ready for that. Okay. So the thing that I do have in here that I absolutely love is my travel journal. And there you go. Fortunately, I don't get to travel that much, but um, when I do travel I have my travel journey uh, journal I love this journal it is also tabbed I put my planner conference tab here and then of course I got my cruise tab on this one as as well so this is the one that I'm planning for now this one was just my planner I didn't really do a lot with it I did try and go back and put some things that I did the outfit I wore Whatever is going on, uh, I put what the classes were, what I went today. We went to Gatlinburg. I put down the weather. As you can see, it was really, really freaking hot. Shorts and a t-shirt. We had waffle. We had a waffle. We had Johnny Rockets that afternoon. We didn't eat dinner because we ate too much of Johnny Rockets. And then I had taffy and chips because that. And the same thing here. We had a Hotel Continental breakfast, the waffle. We didn't do lunch because we were full. Then we went to Paula Dean. Then I had taffy. 
So McDonald's and a Caesar salad. So this is just kind of how I did that. Uh, travel day and none, McDonald's and a taco salad. And I did put down some gas that I spent. I didn't spend a lot. So I didn't really fill this out because this is for a week, I believe, a week's vacation. And of course we 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 were only gone. Sorry about that. I just wanted to cover up my confirmation number for the well well for the cruise and my um my hotel reservation well the night before. I'm sure you would love to come on a Disney cruise with us. And we would love to have you guys on a Disney cruise with us, but I do like to keep those numbers private. <laughs> You'll have to find us. But we will be in room nine ninety forty two. So we'll be on deck nine room 42 if you want to find us on the Disney fantasy that with that time anyway so we're cruising I just put down to when we're departing we're not flying in we're actually driving so I didn't do a flight um, we rental car we don't do that but I'll be doing port parking it's gonna cost us 119 this is where we're staying the night before for Cape Canaveral I have a week before I've got to finish packing and as you can see I've started to put through some things that I need you know, for my technology, because I'm going to do some blogging. I have to have my sprocket, uh, my iPad, a selfie stick, my phone to film on, and my gimbal, um, my tripod for, well, for my phone. I've started to put some packing here. Um, these are the essentials that we have to have. I have to have my grandson's birth certificate. i got to make sure I grab my passports. Luggage tags will be coming in. And uh, the first night we get there, we're coming in the night before we leave. So I put that we're going to go down, we're down to the port, port and go to Fish Lips, which is a seafood restaurant on the Port Canaveral Pier. And we're going to watch the Dream leave because the Dream leaves on Friday, Fantasy leaves on Sunday, I mean on Saturday. So we'll be watching that. So we're going to leave Thursday night and then we're going to travel to Georgia. So this is kind of how, well, well, how I'm plan on using this, and I will use this a lot on on the cruise to kind of jot down my thoughts, what I did the day, the weather, the outfit, the meals I ate, um, expenses. Probably will do that, and I'll probably take some snaps here to do some memory keeping. So I really plan on using this quite a bit. Um, so each day is the same. Like I said, it's for a week's adventure, and that's for another trip. So this will last me quite a while and of course I have some stickers oh I did use one though so and then back here my son-in-law gave me some little uh, dog stickers so I just slipped those in there got a cute little bow and this is my information from the cruise line for what I need to do for that so and I also have a pen loop as you can see there's no pen in here in fact let me put a little pen in here this will be perfect for it look at that oh look at that put my Erin Condren pen in there that'll be pretty Okay, guys, so this was a fairly long video, but I kind of wanted you to see how I use my petite planners. And I hope that you liked this video, and if you did, please think about subscribing to my channel. I do have some things coming up that I think are fairly exciting, and I would love to uh, have you guys with me. Okay, let me stick this pin in because it's all jangly, all jiggly jangly everywhere. There it goes. And I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I will do a plan with me in this, well, in this, using the headers that I I did. I won't use, um, I've already used the kit. So if you're interested in any of these items, if you have an Erin Condren Petite monthly, I do have the August kit will, will be available in my shop. And the July kit with the blueberries is already listed in my shop. And I will have the glitter headers listed but I do have some other headers in there with daisies which is a daisy theme for the spring so with that guys being said I am off like I said I hope you enjoyed it please leave me some comments I'd love to know what you think about the Erin Condren petite planners and I also want to welcome all of my new subscribers thank you thank you so very much for for um, watching me with my ramblings and my endless stories and my long ass videos I really do appreciate it. And if you're, and like I said, if you, uh, and if you just joined, welcome to the family. With that, guys, I'm off. I'll see you later. Bye.